Hello, um, in this video I will describe how um, we can make a, um, an XO game or tic-tac-toe game in HTML, CSS and JavaScript and what made me create this video is that um, my wife was trying to learn some programming, some HTML, CSS and JavaScript and in this course they required a small project. Um, so she chose to make a small game like Pong or tic-tac-toe. So tic-tac-toe was pretty simple to create but whenever she is trying to research how to do it because she's still beginner um, the YouTube videos she find is pretty complicated they use it like canvas and use some libraries and stuff and that that's really not required or it's not needed at all to create this game um, I believe that could be created with a way simpler solution like tic-tac-toe is pretty much a, a table that has three rows every row has three cells and when you click on each cell you execute a function that adds an X or an O and it alternate it will alternate between X and O that's it maybe you can add something at the end that clears the the page or you can even refresh the page if you want a new game that's that's the whole idea it's it's very simple so here is the setup um, I have on my left the editor so low world I save and refresh on the browser on the right it will show the HTML page so that's a you can use any editor you want you just an editor and the browser and the edit and refresh the normal flow that you do all the time so that's an, that's an HTML page on the left let's create a really simple HTML here is the head and here is the body and if you refresh on the other side it's clear page let's add a table that has three rows every row has three cells so here one two three and let's make three of them now that should have a table if you refresh the page it's empty now but there is a table there but it doesn't have any borders this is why you don't see anything so if you added a border equal one here it will show you a table with really small tiny borders so you can make 10 and it will show you something really big or honest enough um, now we can add some CSS so in the head we'll add some CSS that will make the cell larger so we can select all TDs and make the width and height like a hundred pixel let me save refresh that's that's your table that's the table that will have XO that's the whole thing HTML can do it for you you don't need a canvas you don't need to draw lines that's a table with three rows and three cells yeah so what probably we want is when we click on any of these cells we execute a function that will add X or O so first let's have a function executes when you click so after the table let's have a script and a function that's called maybe step which is a step in the game and let's have it do something dumb like alert executed now when you execute this function it will show an alert so for every cell here we can add an on click step right and let's make it three times and remove this so now when I click it should show an alert any cell you click it will show an alert now instead of an alert we want to put an X in there let's uh, do this let's see what is this in this context um, I want to see like console look this I believe this is the cell I didn't do this for a long time this is why I just no this is the window okay so so let's take the cell itself um, as a parameter to the step so when you click on the cell it passes this which is the cell to the function and then we can use it so we need the cell as a parameter to the function and the cell inner 
HTML will be an X. Let's put an X, right? And here, for every one of these steps, we will pass this. And when you pass this, this is the a reference to the cell that was clicked. Now, when you do this, it will add an X. See? It's always adding an X. The X is on the side, and the, the size is really small, so let's make it a little bit prettier. Let's center it first. Text align center. And font size is like 80 pixels. Now, when you refresh and do this, it's really huge X. That's nice. So now we need to alternate between X and O. So we can do that by really simple thing. Let's define a global variable outside of the function that holds what whose turn is it. So the player is X. And now instead of adding the X, we add the current player mark. And now let's switch the player. So if player is X, Let's make the player is the O. That's the other player. Else, let's switch the player to X again. Now, when you do this, the first one is X, the other one is O, X, O, because whenever you click it, alternate the player. There is something weird here that even if the cell has a character, it will still override it. So, that's not cool. So what we need is if cell inner HTML doesn't equal empty string, so we will return. Now if that means if we try to take a step but the cell already has a string, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be executing the rest of the function. We return early. That means we just exit from the step early, we don't do anything else. Now when we refresh X, O, when I click here again it shouldn't do anything, you see? X, O, X, O, X, O, X, it shouldn't change that at all, it doesn't. So that's, that's the whole thing. Um, maybe you can clear the game or just refresh. If you refresh you get a new game. If you want to clear the game another way, you can make a button that refresh. You can just, after the table, button, and clear, which is one click, will refresh. So document, I think location, what was it? Document, location, reload. Yeah, document, re location, reload, or reload. So when you refresh, X O and you want to reset, clear to reload. That's that's about it. You don't really need any complex canvas. That's the whole code. It's it's uh, fifty one lines plus some empty lines here. So it's forty seven forty seven lines. Yeah, that was the whole solution. I hope that was useful. And let me know um, if you have a simpler solution. There could be out there some other simpler solutions for beginners. Okay. Thank you very much for listening.